Live from Midtown Atlanta, this is CBS 46 News at 11. Four and a half years, four and a half years we've been waiting. I can't say that enough. I'm so upset. The family of a murdered man demands answers tonight after a judge lets his killer walk free. And tonight that family speaks exclusively to CBS 46. A DeKalb County jury convicted a woman of murdering her husband. But instead of arresting her, the judge sent the convicted murderer home and said he could overturn the jury's decision. As you might imagine, mm -hmm. this has certainly upset the man's family. So they reached out to CBS 46's Tony McNary, who has their story. As you guys might imagine, uh, this is very upsetting to this mm -hmm. family. The victim, uh, Derek Ricky Ballin, was beaten to death with a blunt object in 2009. As you heard, his family waited close to five years for justice. They felt they finally received it yesterday, but the judge shocked them with his actions. We expected them to take her back in handcuffs and lock her up. But that's not what DeKalb County Judge Mark Anthony Scott ordered Wednesday after a jury found Pamela Ballin guilty on all three counts of murdering her husband, Derek Ricky Ballin. We're upset. The whole family is upset, you know, because it's been four and a half years we've waited, and uh, we finally get justice, you know. The 12 people found her guilty, right. and, and the judge just lets her walk. Ricky Ballin was found dead at the couple's DeKalb County home in 2009. Pamela Ballin told police some men beat her husband during a home invasion, but prosecutors say there was no evidence to prove that. I mean, she bludgeoned the man. He oh. had 10 blows to the head, and I mean big blows. Can you imagine standing over somebody and hitting them 10 times? Ricky Ballin's cousins say they don't understand why Judge Scott let a convicted murderer walk. First, the lawyers asked him, aren't you going to make a ruling on, on what he had brought up? And he says he's going to wait until after the verdict to make the ruling. The jury deliberated for two and a half days before returning the guilty verdict. Now, we found Pamela Ballin at her business in DeKalb County, but this woman jumped in front of our news unit and stopped us from going any further on the property. How do you guys feel about the jury's verdict? Get the f out. How's that? That's how you feel about it? Oh. Now, Judge Scott scheduled a hearing for July 17th. At that time, he will decide if the jury's guilty verdict will stand or if he will acquit Pamela Ballin. Well, the